her name was River Song. Please tell me you know who I am. I'm not going to be there to catch you every time you feel like, like jumping out of a spaceship. Got a problem with archaeologists? I'm a time traveller. I point and laugh at archaeologists. Octavian said you killed the man. Yes, I did. A good man. The best man I've ever known. Who are you? You're the woman he loves. No, I'm not. You're always here to me. And I've been away for a while, but I'm back. You were away? Huh. 24 years. What a night. Why are you sad? Ah. Professor River Song, archaeologist. And I always listen. Are you married, River? Are you asking? Some of them suggest that the very last night we spend together is at the Singing Towers of Terillion. Go way back, that man and me. Who are you? They engineered a psychopath to kill you. Totally married her. And he looks at me. Looks right through me and it shouldn't kill me, but it does. The doctor does not and has never loved me. What was her name? You are the woman who loves the doctor. Yes, I am. I've never denied it. So sometime in the future, I just give you my screwdriver. Yeah. Oh, you bad, bad girl. What trouble have you got for me this time? I can always see you. Dear God, you're hard work, young. Yeah, who are you? Oh. My past is his future. You wait until I've given up hope. All will be lost and you'll do that smug little smile and then you'll save the day. You always do. No, I don't. Not always. Look at the pair of you. We're all gonna die right here, and you're just squabbling like an old married couple! We're travelling in opposite directions. They were together for a while, and they were very happy. One day I'm going to be someone that you trust completely. God knows where he is right now, but I promise you, he's doing whatever the hell he wants and not giving a damn about me, and I'm just fine with that. I'd never have made it here alive without River Song. Every time we meet, I know him more. He knows me less. All anyone will ever tell you is that when the wind stands fair and the night is perfect, when you least expect it, but always when you need it the most. There is a song. Then why didn't you speak to me? Because I thought it would hurt too much. This, this is not a joke. Stop this now. This is going to kill you! I'd have a chance, you don't have any. You wouldn't have a chance and neither do I. This means you've always known how I was going to die. Then you are forgiven. Always and completely forgiven. Happy ever after doesn't mean forever. It just means time. All the time we've been together, you knew I was coming here. When you love the Doctor, it's like loving the stars themselves. You don't expect a sunset to admire you back. Because there's no such thing as happy ever after. It's just a lie we tell ourselves because the truth is so hard. Last time I saw you, the real you, the future you, I mean, you turned up on my doorstep with a new haircut and a suit.
He took me to Derillium to see the singing towers. She will be amazing. <sighs> what a night that was. The towers sang. And you cried. And if I happen to find myself in danger, let me tell you, the doctor is not stupid enough or sentimental enough, and he is certainly not in love enough to find himself standing in it with me. For a time, he's going to be very sad. If you die here, it'll mean I've never met you. Time can be rewritten. Not those times. Not one line. Don't you dare. I can't let you die without knowing you are loved. You and me. Time and space. Not one person on this ship. Not one living thing is worth you. Or you. By so many and so much. And by no one more than me. You watch us run. I'll suffer if I have to kill you. More than every living thing in the universe. Yes. You whispered my name in my ear. It's hard to leave when you haven't said goodbye. Then tell me, because I don't know. How do I say it? There's only one reason I would ever tell anyone my name. There's only one time I could. on the face of a 12-year-old. One does one's best to hide the damage. See you around, Professor Riversong. Till the next time. She died a long time ago in a library. <laughs>